What's up guys, it's Sydney and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here to this channel, don't forget to subscribe for Disney videos. Um, my Instagram is at DizlaSid. My Twitter is Sydney Lynn with three E's. So go follow me on Instagram for daily Disney photos and on Twitter for just like random updates about my life and what I'm doing. I actually just made a brand new Snapchat. It is at DizlaSid as well. And that is specifically for my Disney trips. So you will get to see all of my trips on that Snapchat. So go add me, I'll put the picture right here. You can just screenshot if you're on your phone and then upload it to Snapchat under add by snap code and you will add me immediately or just type in Dizlicid. And that's it for this kind of long introduction because I just had something I wanted to say, you know? Now let's just get into the tips. I my first tip might seem kind of basic to some of you, but there are a lot of people who either have like the wrong idea about what these are and or just don't know what they are at all, and that is fast passes. And fast passes are absolutely key if you are going to Disneyland during peak season, which is basically when everybody wants to go because they're out of school or it's like there's special offerings or you know whatever. And so fast passes, you take your ticket and you go to the fast pass machine. There are certain rides that um, allow fast passes and some rides that don't. I'll put all of the ones in both Disneyland and DCA that allow you to get fast passes. You just go up to that ride, you stick your ticket into the machine and it gives you a pass. And it has an hour window where you can come back to the ride and cut the line basically. And it's really helpful especially for big rides like Hyperspace Mountain and Indiana Jones and star tours just all the rides like that um it'll save you a lot of time and you can get a new fast pass two hours after your previous fast pass and um it'll say the exact time on your sheet because it might be um sooner if your fast pass is for later in the day and i'll talk about that later so yes yeah, remember get your fast passes um uh, my second tip is to get certain fast passes right when you enter the park the two rides that I would recommend getting fast passes for right away are Radiator Springs Racers in California Adventure and Hyperspace Mountain in Disneyland because these rides run out of their fast passes for the entire day before noon. So if you get those passes early, you might not get to come back until like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, but at least you'll have your pass and you won't have to wait for two hours for the ride. My third tip for you guys is to get there right as the park opens. I know that when you're laying in your hotel room bed, you do not want to get up and go to Disneyland super early in the morning, but I promise you guys that that is the best way to go because um, when you get there early in the morning, most people are thinking like you, they want to sleep in, they want to start their day late, but middle of the day and the afternoon is insane at Disneyland. So if you can get there and then go for at least like two hours, maybe three or four, then go back to your hotel and rest and then go back for the evening if you're there on a vacation. If you're staying all day, then definitely get there early because you can knock out tons of rides with 10 to 15 minute waits instead of hour waits and that just saves you a lot of time and you can do a lot of other things in the park. Tip number four is to eat breakfast before you get to the park because as I said, those first two hours when the park is open is prime time for rides. You're going to want to be running around and if you're hungry, that could take 30 minutes to an hour out of your like prime ride time so definitely eat breakfast at the hotel if you have complimentary breakfast or stop at a McDonald's which isn't very cheap so I would recommend staying at a hotel with complimentary breakfast because the McDonald's in the Anaheim like area really close to Disneyland they hike their prices up. Going to be at Disney's California Adventure in the nighttime which I love DCA at night. You don't really care about watching World of Color or you're staying for multiple days and you can watch World of Color on one day. The day that you're not watching World of Color, ride rides in Paradise Pier. Some of them will be closed because um, California Screamin', Mickey's Fun Wheel, The Swings, Golden Zephyr, Goofy Sky School, they all close um, for World of Color because the noise that interrupts the show. But rides like Midway Mania, um, Radiator Springs Racers, Tower of Terror, they're all gonna have much shorter wait times than if you were to go um, during the day. So definitely hit those rides as fast as you can. Tip number six is if you're going to go and get Dole Whips, do not wait in the outside line, especially if you're going when it's going to be hot. 
that outside line can take you uh, 45 minutes just to get some ice cream. So what you want to do is you're going to want to enter into the Enchanted Tiki Room like you're going to watch the show and directly to your right there's going to be an inside line that not a lot of people know about and so it'll be much shorter than the outside line. Tip number seven is to shop after the park has closed. The shops on Main Street, which will have basically everything that you would ever want to buy in the parks, are open one hour after park closing. So if you're going all day long, don't waste an hour shopping during your day at the park. Shop at night and then it'll be less people, you'll just get to cruise through, buy what you want, and you don't have to carry all day. Tip number eight is the later showing of parades is always less packed. If you go to the later show, there'll be less people because all of the adults with children want to go to the earlier show so they can go home earlier because the kids are sleepy. So definitely go to the later show. And along with that tip, um, everyone just thinks that the best place to watch the parades are right on Main Street. And that is where everybody will be. If you just keep walking back towards the small world, there will be plenty of spots and the fireworks will be just as visible. And the projections on Small World are much bigger than the projections on the castle. So the show is going to be, in my opinion, more entertaining. And if you're going during spring break, I would definitely recommend waiting for paint the night about 30 to 45 minutes before it starts. If you want to get a really good spot and you're really worried about it, I would wait an hour to an hour and a half. Just depends on how much time you have and your priority. If you don't mind sitting a few rows back, then get there 30 to 45 minutes early. If you want that curb spot, I would go about an hour early. My last tip is for all of you teenagers out there. This doesn't really work if you have like a family and you want to stick together, but single rider lines are your best friend if you cannot do fast passes or you're using a fast pass for something else. Go on the single rider line. For example, on Radiator Springs Racers, the single rider line is usually about 25 to 30 minutes, while the actual wait time is an hour and a half. And the single rider line, you won't be sat with your family, but if your whole family doesn't mind being split up, they can go into a single rider line together, you can wait in line together, and then you just enjoy the attraction separately, and you save a lot of time, and it's just good. That is it for my Disneyland tips for how to beat the crowds and survive spring break. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below your favorite tip, or if you have any tips that I didn't mention, or if you have a video idea that you would like me to do, please comment all of that down below, and I will definitely take everything into consideration. Don't forget to subscribe. The button is right down there. If you're on mobile, you just scroll a little bit and click that button, and you'll get notified every time I upload. And until next time, have a magical day, and I will see you real soon. Yeah. Bye. Oh my gosh, Sydney, I know what I've been missing. Okay. So he has this giant forehead thing. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Look at it's it's the size of my face. <laughs> and he's got the he's got the classic eyes. And ta-da, he's got vines. And do, then do it for the vine. <laughs>